from the Public Governance Institute at Keulogen, Belgium. In the next presentation, I'm going to share some insight on how and what need to be prepared beforehand from the user perspective in terms of geographic information, technology, policy, standard, and human resources to effectively enable spatially informed decision making for disaster risk management in the Dominican Republic. This presentation is based on our research article identifying user requirement of geographic information for disaster risk management in the Dominican Republic. This research team is also, also include Dr. Santiago Munoz, Vladimir Guzman, Javier, and Professor Yub Cronfoot. This is our outline. At first, I briefly introduce the Dominican Republic context, our motivation, the research objectives, and, and research question. I briefly introduce our methodology that we conduct, and the resource and discussions, and we finally uh, conclude with the our conclusion proposing a set of user requirements of geographic information to meet the needs of the satellite management in the Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic is located in the Caribbean region. According to the World Bank, the Dominican Republic is one of the fastest growing economies in the Latin America in the last 25 years. Tourism, construction, mining, and services are the most critical sector for the Dominican Republic economy. However, Dominican Republic is a typical example of the small island developing state who are highly prone to disastrous phenomenon. Dominican Republic has developed strong legal framework to promote and regulate the involvement of key parties in the, in the disaster risk reduction activities. The national system of, of disaster prevention, mitigation and response, the national risk management plan and the national emergency management plan along with the National Integrated Information System and the National Fund for Prevention, Mitigation and Response are among the main organizations in charge of the coordination and execution of disaster risk actions in the Dominican Republic. When disaster occur, different stakeholders from different organizations take part in disaster risk reduction and response efforts. This will lead to a huge demand of geographic information and services in order to enable informed decision making. This, in this way, that's why we, we, we aim to, to understand what and how to be prepared beforehand to meet and to react quickly to the demands of geospatial technology for disaster risk management activities. In our research, we aim to identify user requirement of geographic information and services for disaster risk management in the Dominican Republic. In this way, we aim to address two main research questions. Who are the key users and what are the minimum requirements for disaster risk management operations in the Dominican Republic? In our methodology, we follow a four-stage user requirement analysis method. At first, we interview five users five senior professionals from disaster response agency and academia. Based on the insight from this interview, we designed a questionnaire with 30 questions dividing five sessions, including user background, geographic information, technology, policy and standard, and human resources. We launched our, a national online survey from February to March 2020, where 130 people participate and respond to our survey. The responses from the survey were codified and indexed for different tasks they performed. In this session, I present the results of our survey. Most of the people who participate in our survey were from the government and private sector, followed by the academia and NGOs. They were a, a ge geomatic specialists and geoscience professionals. The most of the participants define their organization as end user and enablers of geographic information with a low represent representation from producer of geographic information. In terms of geographic information, most of the users indicate that the census data, satellite imagery, and not used data set were the, the data set with the highest level of importance. The cartographic scale is the one to 50,000 were the most uh, relevant. Uh, 
uh, indeed our survey revealed that the importance of geographic information increased at the finer, finer scale. Most of the users indicate that extensively used metadata to explore and search for spatial information for disaster risk management. Most of the users also indicate some important future for their use of geographic information, including update information, reliable um, quality of the information, and also of the visual attractiveness of the mass product. Some main challenges were uh, faced by users while using um, accessing to geographic information for disaster risk management, including the restriction on accessing data, the personnel and resources, costs, and the lack of metadata. In this session, we summarize the response from 149 participants. Um, the most important needs of geographic information were the availability of high accuracy, core data set, core geographic information data set and metadata, current disaster related information, especially at the local and provincial level, and the high reliable real time data management. Regarding the spatial technology for disaster risk management, most users indicate that Google Earth and Field Survey were the main source of information. While participants were asked what were the communication channels for sharing geographic information, emails and web pages, um, what map paper were the, the most cited by the participant. Surprisingly, just a few of the participants indicate that the spatial data infrastructure were used as a media channel for sharing geographic information. In this way, when participants were asked to recommend the spatial technology for support disaster risk management, most of users indicate that mobile applications, satellite imageries, and UAV exploitation were the most recommended tool for improving the disaster risk management activities. When participants were asked what were the most difficult challenges they faced while using geospatial technology for integrating geographical information, most users indicate that uh, issues re regarding related to interoperability issues were the most uh, important, including incomplete and inaccuracy data, lack of metadata, inappropriate temporal and spatial scale, including training, skill, and ability. From the summary of CTC responses from the survey, we reveal that the development of a national disaster-oriented SDI, the training for technical staff and volunteer acquisition of hardware and software, and more community support were the most important technic technological needs for disaster risk management. Regarding policy and standards needs, most participants indicate that there is not a policy in place to promote or rule the sharing of information between stakeholders for disaster risk management. When participants were asked about restrictions for sharing geographic information, most participants said that restrictive data license confidentiality and intellectual protocol rights and lack of software and hardware were among the most important challenges. From the summary of the response of 20, 40, 42 participants, the, poli the establishment of policy and institutional arrangement for the channel of geographic information along with the opportunity for more training and technical documentation and the building of culture for trust and collaboration for sharing information were the most important. Human resources is also a key component of, for the disaster risk management. In this way, the technical specification, tutorial, and manual and training program were the most important key knowledge resources to facilitate the integration and adaptation of technology for disaster risk management. However, most participants indicate that there were some missing stakeholders to foster the generation and integration of geographic information for disaster risk management. This includes the government, uh, local government, university, private sector, research institute, and NGO, among the most important